this yeah. kid. Oh, well, he started 21. performing. I know. We, honestly, he's 21. Wait until you see. He yeah. started performing at age three and hasn't stopped since. And now at 21, Max Schneider is starring in a new series and has an upcoming tour. I know. He's 21. <laughs> Actor and singer and songwriter and bon vivant, Max Schneider is here on the couch to tell us all about what he's been up to. And we'll start the interview in a second. But I have yeah. to say, we just caught up. So you, you're like a neighbor. You, you yeah. grew up in Hell's Kitchen, right? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Passover last night with Passover the family. Last night with the family. How sweet is this? It was wonderful, yeah. What a good it. kid. I love this. Well, okay, so tell us about your new show, Crisis. Oh, it's a very intense action political thriller. We go on this field trip. We get kidnapped. They use the kids to manipulate the government through their very powerful parents. And uh, it's basically how far would you go to protect your, your child and the people you love. This is terrifying. Let's it watch is. a clip. Let's watch a clip. <laughs> Give it to me. Let me get rid of it. What happened in that room, Ian? Before we get caught. You're a double agent. I bet you're a double agent. Yeah. Are you? See, because I, I can just tell from this. Now, was that your girlfriend in the show? No, that's my best friend, Beth Ann, in the show. Because his real girlfriend's right over there. His my real, real girlfriend, girlfriend is right here. <laughs> look Let's at her. Oh, no. She says, don't worry, on TV. Oh, my God. Don't look. Oh, oh, I can't believe we put oh, his real girlfriend. I cannot believe you. this. Yeah, we had to do that. That we just put his real girlfriend. Oh, poor thing. Oh, he said, I love you. See, it's always good now. I can't wait till that meeting after the show. So what are we going to see with your character in the upcoming episodes? Well, the clip that you guys just saw, it's we're about halfway through the series, and this is where I kind of take Ian uh, takes a dark turn for the worst in a lot of ways in the situation and starts going through this very, this very intense dark time in, in the kidnapped situation. So you know, but I can tell from the previews of this, everybody's like, they're all like double agents. You don't know who to trust in mm -hmm. crisis. Very true. You don't know who's because it's all about the government, and there's obviously somebody in the government that's bad. There's a mole. Yes, there's, there's a mole. There's, there's something there going. Yes, there, there is. There of is. Course. I'm on it. Yeah. Well, now you're also a singer, and it's you brought your ukulele I with did, you. I did. Of course. So, now, Why is it in the case? Uh, Why you put know, it in the case. I don't know. I just Come on, get it out of the case. Get it out of the case. Get it out of the case. It's a great prop. Let's do it. <laughs> you had a song that was just featured in a movie. <laughs> yes, it's uh, it's my new single called Mugshot, and it was in the Veronica Mars movie recently. No kidding. Which was yeah, which was wonderful. That's awesome. Okay, Thank so you. can you play something for us? Yeah, I can. I can just make up something about this right now. Do it. Do that. Do it. Do it. Do it. Chilling on the couch at CVS with the best of the best. Oh, 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 Take it, Carolina. Yeah. Can I ask awesome. you a question? This is like totally. Have you noticed we're not even doing this interview? Right. <laughs> Why are ukuleles are so popular now? I know it's funny. Why are ukuleles so popular? I don't know. I I I mean I'm glad because I started playing about five years ago and I just it was just uh, I, I started playing because the guitar was a little too big for yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah. And uh -huh. I loved it. So maybe a lot of people were like, hey, I'm small people. Was it that somewhere people. the over the rainbow guy? Yeah. You know, that maybe. We, he's yes. No, honestly, yeah. no. I, I agree. A lot of people listen to that. Yep, yep, you know. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah. You're gonna be on tour this summer. Yes, I am. Okay, so tell us about that. I'm really excited. I'm doing, uh, we're doing, I think, 24 cities in about a month, and we're playing June 17th at Webster Hall here in New York, which oh, I'm Webster pumped Hall's about. Fun. Yeah, it's a great What'd awesome you do venue. with that Pharrell guy? Oh. I did, oh, I did uh, two songs from my, my upcoming album with Pharrell. You're kidding me. Ago. Yeah. He is royalty. <laughs> He's wonderful. He I mean, is an amazing guy. Did you just see that he was crying with Oprah? Did you see that moment? I haven't You've seen it yet. No, it. I've got to see it. You have to see it, but he is yeah. one of the best in the industry. He You're is. so lucky to have And then Oprah started playing ukulele. Amazing. You're in a new indie movie. What's the movie? Oh yeah, it's called Love and Mercy. It's about uh, the Brian uh, Brian from the Beach Boys, and it's a uh, yeah. It's, so it's um, a story about the Beach Boys and their sort of uh, upbringing. And I play Van Dyke Parks, which was uh, he was the producer with Brian for uh, the record Smile. Ooh, and uh, wow. it was wonderful. It's my first time playing, you know, an actual person, and and it was a really wonderful experience to research and really become someone who's still alive and hopefully sees the movie and he's down with what I did. For what do you want to do? You want to act? Do you want to do music? I would love to do both. Forever, Why choose? You're I not. know. I would. I. I. I've been, 21. I've, <laughs> I've been really lucky.
lucky to be able to do acting projects that involve music, like th this movie and things of that sort. But you know, music is always where my my heart's been in so many ways. And well, keep doing it, and you be you. a good boy on tour. I'll we know your best. girlfriend. Yeah. We're gonna tell <laughs> right her everything. Yeah. So, Max Schneider, yeah. thank you so much for joining thank us on the couch. Me. And you can watch Max in Crisis every Sunday night at 10 p.m. on NBC. So go ahead and play us out. Good. Woo! Forget this. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna tell you about a happy little pooch who was rescued on a train all the way to Manhattan and take it, Carolina. Oscar-nominated star Taraji P. Henson is here. Look at who go, yeah.